Hey everyone, it's Kevin White, and I am one of the professors at the Event Leadership Institute. And I am teaching the class Event and Meeting Management Fundamentals. It's a great class. It's perfect for several different levels of event professionals, people who are new to the industry and are looking to see what is it like to be an event professional, what does it take, what are the, some of the things that you have to know, learn, um, what are you doing day in, day out. Um, it's great for people who have been in the industry for a couple of years but are really looking to hone their knowledge on uh, maybe it's things like contracts, maybe it's things like AV or food and beverage. Um, and then of course there's people who've been in the business sometimes for 15, 20 years and they're looking to just make sure that well they've what they've been doing and how they've been doing it, maybe they're in their own little silo and they're looking to see how else do other people do this. So it's a great course for a lot of lot of different people. And of course there's a lot of different things that we do with it. It starts off very philosophically with how do we design for humans and, and what, are, what are human outcomes? This is what all people in the experiential industry actually practice, trying to make humans be or do or think or act a certain way, right? And we get into things like the um, event design and how do we design for humans. We get into things like um, project management and best practices. We get into financial management. We look at things like um, you know writing contracts. We get into things like risk management. So far we've gotten into all these different topics and we haven't even gotten to the stuff yet but there's so much to event and meeting management that well we got to get to all of it. So of course then we move on to the things that are involved certainly in the actual execution of events themselves. So we look at things like how do we staff events, um, we look at things like selecting uh, venues, we look at things like audio visual, we look at things like marketing. These are all different types of, of topics that we cover in this course and then of course we look at how do we function day of when we're actually executing the event itself. And then of course there's other things we talk about too. We talk a little bit about sustainability and, and what our legacy is going to be as we produce events. So how does the course actually work? It's pretty simple. You watch about an hour's worth of video modules each week over the course of 10 weeks. You do it at your own pace. And as you learn and as you see and as you do, um, you then move on to the next course. So it actually moves at your pace, which is great and it actually moves in order, which is even better, because it allows you to see how does a project unfold from I have no idea what's happening to the product is done, the event has occurred. What's great about the modules is as you move through each week, we also give some supporting things. It might be articles to read, it might be documents to fill out, it might be helpful cheat sheet lists of things. So you're never just listening to stuff, you're also actually doing things as well. And we give you more support than just the video modules. Each week also we give a quick little quiz, just a couple of questions to see did you actually, were you able to absorb what was in there in the class itself. Now at the end of all the 10 weeks, you have a couple of options. One, you can say, great, I took all the classes, I watched all the videos. The other thing you can do is you can take the exam. And if you pass the exam, it's a multiple choice exam. If you pass that exam, then you get a certification in this class. So you actually get a digital credential that says you've mastered event meeting management fundamentals given by Event Leadership Institute. And for many that is a lot of what they're looking for to show their bosses what they've done, to show potential clients what they've done. Now, why do people do this? Again, some people say I want to impress, I want to move up, I want to just know my general knowledge. I think we're at a point where um, learning is lifelong now. We're no longer at the point where you go to school for a certain thing and that lasts you 40 years or 50 years and then you retire. Um, we're on a continual basis of learning. And so something like this course I think is necessary. It's, it's part of what moves us along and until um, more universities offer this topic of education, um, classes like this are going to be 100% necessary. I think that there's a lot of people who say they do event planning and they just start it and do it. The internet allows everybody to say, I'm a professional in some way, shape or form. I mean, hey, I do some carpentry work I don't hire a carpenter for. I look it up on the internet and I do it. I would never say I'm a carpenter, but people do this in all types of professions. And I think one way to set yourself apart is having formal education. So that's another reason why some people may want to do this. Now, of course, you could say to yourself, how is the world changing? How, is, how are things like technology impacting uh, human design and is it, you know, to me, having a 
really formal understanding of human behavior and human choices in psychology is the differentiation between people, what people used to do in events and now what they're doing. And so I think that you have to have something that sets you apart from everybody else. And a formal education that teaches you some of those things is a great way to do it. And of course, live. Live is changing everything, right? Everyone thinks technology is taking over and we're living in our phones, but actually, live has become more valuable. Understanding how to make human connections, it's going to be one of the most powerful things that we can do as technology invades our lives. And so there's a higher value put on knowing how to make human connections. So these are all reasons why I think this course is great. Um, and again, at Event Leadership Institute, uh, we as professors always stay connected to our students. We're always there for you, can always answer questions, and we want you to succeed. Because we want this industry, we want the experiential industry to grow, to be better, to be more robust for everybody. So I hope you take the class. I hope at some point I get to see you and I get to say hello during class time.